Hello, and welcome to the Discover English News and Current Affairs program, Behind the English. I'm your host, Tegan McCarthy. Today, we'll be looking at reading and how it can help you to improve your English level. Our on-location reporter, Nancy Knackers, asked the Cambridge Proficiency class, what do you think the benefits of reading are? Their answers will surprise and delight you. But first, a quick note from Cam, our weatherman. Thanks, Tegan. I'm Cameron and this is the weather. It's freezing out there at the moment. It's minus five with an expected top of minus four. So rug up if you're going out, but more on the weather later. Um, now to over to Nancy Knackers, our on-site reporter for a scoop on how to improve your English. <laughs> I'm Nancy Knackers down in a classroom today and we'll be interviewing students and finding out what they think the benefits of reading are. Uh, well, I would say that reading supports like your overall language ability. It broadens your horizon. Um, in general, I think you learn so many new words and see in what context they're used. It improves your short-time memory. Makes you look smart. Well, I think it's a really nice way to learn without even noticing. Oh, it's good to relieve stress, and besides, you can take a book everywhere. Thanks, Nancy. Speaking of differences, it's raining cats and dogs out there now. Everything has changed. If you're heading out, don't forget to take an umbrella. <sighs> oh, back to Tegan in the studio. Thanks for the update, Cam. And thank you, Nancy, for that interesting insight into what our Cambridge proficiency students think the benefits of reading are. In our next segment, our reporter Rosa will take you out onto the streets of Melbourne and show you how you can start practically reading. She'll guide you to the Melbourne City Library and help you to find the ESL graded readers, books that every student of English should be reading every day. But first, let's check in with Cam, our weatherman. Thanks, Tegan. Well, the rain has stopped, but the wind has picked up and it's blowing a gale here. Ooh. Don't open that umbrella, whatever you do. Now it's over to Rosa on location in Discover English. Is he, is he okay? Oh, thanks, Tegan. I'm Special Investigator Rosa Turkington here with an investigative report on the benefits of reading. Reading books every day is one of the best ways that students can improve their English language skills. By reading for just 20 minutes every day, students will improve their vocabulary, see different grammatical structures in action, and generally improve their English language level. This just in, reading books can also help to improve concentration, quality of sleep, writing skills, and memory. Reading also reduces stress. Reading books by writers of other countries will help you to learn about different cultures. And the best part of all, you'll never be bored on public transport if you have a book. I'm going to show you how easy it is to find the library. Follow me. Here at the Melbourne City Library, you can find graded readers, books written especially for people learning how to speak English. Find out what your level is and choose a book from below your level. That way, reading the book will be enjoyable and relaxing. Thanks for watching. I'm Rosa Turkington here with Behind the English. Back to Tegan in the studio, but first, let's check on the weather with Cam. Oh, terrific tip that, Rosa. But look, if you're borrowing a book, make it a summer read because the revised top is 39 degrees. It's baking hot outside now. Good thing I suggested taking that umbrella. Now back to Tegan. Oh, is he okay? Uh, thank you, Cam. And thanks, Rosa, for that interesting report. Let's just recap on what some of the benefits of reading are and how you can use reading to improve your English. Reading is great for your English skills, especially vocabulary and grammar. All students should read for 30 minutes every day. Reading improves your general well-being and gives you something to do on public transport. It's easy to find great books at the Melbourne City Library or Discover English Student Library. 
always remember to choose a book that is slightly below your actual level. I'm your host, Tegan McCarthy, here at the Discover English News and Current Affairs program, Behind the English. Good night and good learning. Thank you.